for the UFC lightweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing the lightweight championship between Bruce and Jackie Chan. I hope you guys will like it. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, presenting the challenger, Bo Crusher. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman big kick land Turns his hip into that leg kick. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Straight right is there. And that he comes through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Combinations here. He blocks the shot. And he caught the kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. And that one was heavy. Oh, straight right. Just over three minutes now to go. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Lands a switch knee. You gotta check these low leg kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice leg kick. He's able to check the high kick. Powerful leg kick land. Beautiful body kick. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Punch coming, it's blown. Okay, there is lands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Ooh, big knee. Oh! Nice. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. He's hurt, He's hurt bad. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And he landed the right hand there. Under a minute to go. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He's going after the head. Kick. Oh! Head kick! Twenty seconds left. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. The next there with the punch. Switch. He lands to the body. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy who will try to break this immediately. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Look at him 
chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Punch over the top. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big kick lands. All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Came with inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. He engages in oh. Oh. picture perfect shot there. You see it. One more of those he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, got him. He got him. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. He gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he just stings him in the box. He gets shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big knee lands there. Got him. 20 seconds to go round two. 15 seconds to go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. They continue to exchange. Two rounds in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. 
he's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice body. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! Nice one two there. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Nice defense there, huge block. Nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, misses with the jab. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just missed with the left there. Kick to the body is blocked. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He can't even, he can barely Big kick land. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Ooh, big shot land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Look at him whip his hip into that kid. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educator. He's got his head looking for a guillotine. 
Oh, we're getting to finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Again, side mount. And now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Over the St. Cruz. It's got to like that transition there. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. for five five-minute rounds. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. How good is that right hand? And they separate. Liver kick. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big leg kick land. Just over three minutes to go. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Circling away towards the oh, man, look at that one line shot. Did that that shows the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got it in the corner. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Kick attempt, unable to find the target. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Just misses. Misses oh, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, got him going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Look at the whip action that comes from him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Oh, 
Straight right hand, no good. What a body kick. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, what a shot to the body! His opponent he's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Oh! Straight right. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Flam with the inside leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Not there. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Fifth and final round. Real nice body kick land. Big kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice little shot. Oh! Beautiful strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good right here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful punch. Oh, big left. And they separate. Probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there is the UFC lightweight champion. He is going to be a hard guy to buck off the throne. Getting it done by way of knockout here tonight. What a finish on the sport's biggest stage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 29 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.